Okay, uh, this video is going to be a little uh, walkthrough guide on using the ship vendor framework made by Rux616. Uh, this is a requested video from YouTuber Sinkiller. Um, I'll link uh, his YouTube channel so you can go check him out. He makes a ton of uh, videos um, covering Starfield mod content. And so let's go ahead and load this up. So you want to make sure the uh, Starfield ESM is loaded. Ship vendor framework set as active. Hit OK and let that load up. OK, so now that we have that loaded up, uh, we can get to work. Uh, so the first thing we want to do, go to generic forms, base forms, and any of these sections here. Let's go ahead and start with the aspirational um, so you want to open up a vanilla ship. You don't have to, but this is just the easiest way to quickly add something into the game. So ID, let's say ASP EF for base form. Name is the name that is going to appear in game. Just hit OK to create it. We have that new one created. And so this is the fun part, open Starship Editor. As far as I've seen, you're pretty much always going to get this uh, error message. Just ignore it, clear it, close it out, and open it again. Hit OK. And now you're in the Ship Editor. And the controls are pretty straightforward, operates uh, very similar to Endgame, um, which you can also use a controller in the ship editor, but uh, it's a bit clunky, just like it is in game. And I think uh, the mouse, mouse and keyboard is the way to go. Um, but yeah, you can do all sorts of edits. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do any edits here. Uh, but just know you can completely trick it out. So let's close that. It's going to generate a nav mesh for it. So moving on to step three, go to leveled base forms. Right click in here, new, make another ID, uh, and right here in this section, you want to add your ship. So just new object, base forms. There. Okay. Calculate for each item and count. Make sure that's checked. Level, you can keep it at level one or whatever level you want. Just keep in mind uh, what your player level is. So if currently you are level 15, you set the ship to level 20. Guess what? It's not going to appear in game for you until you reach level 20. Right now, I believe I'm level 24, so I'll go ahead and keep it at level 20 and hit OK. Let's go ahead and save a plugin. SVF TD. Make our ESP there. OK, so now we can go down to miscellaneous. Form list, hit new, make an ID, got that there, now add, we want to level based form, and then go down here, add to list, and we can filter it 
with the S SVF prefix. And then here, just going down this list, selecting where you want it to, uh, which vendor you want it to pop up. And in his guide, uh, he provides info on what these different suffixes mean. So always self-explanatory. If you select always, the ship's always going to be there for sale. Uh, unique also functions the same way. And then I believe he also has random. But for the purpose of testing, let's go ahead and select always. And we will use New Atlantis. Okay. And save. And that should be it. Let's hop in game and verify that it's working. All right, we're in game. Let's go talk to our homie. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always vying. Kiosk right here for you. Let me see what ships you have for sale. I'm sure you can find something you like. <gasps> there it is. The USS Shrek. In all its glory and beauty. A modern marvel of engineering. Peak excellence. But yeah, anyways, there you go. A uh, big shout out to Rux616 uh, for making this framework mod uh, fast and easy to use. And um, yeah, it gets the job done. Also, a uh, shout out to YouTuber Sinkiller for requesting this video. Hopefully this helps him out. And anybody else who is curious about the ship vendor framework mod, um, but, you know, we're just a little hesitant in uh, getting in there and uh, adding their own custom ship. So if you like this video and you like some of my other ones, please like it, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.